Hi guys, welcome to the another podcast. Three years blog को लेकर के अनु जॉनसन टुडे वी हैव एंड शी इज फ्रॉम केरला शी इज फोर्ड वन थर्टी वन मार्क्स आउट ऑफ वन फिफ्टी सो आई थिंक ऑल इंडिया रैंक लेस देन टेन है फिफ्थ या सिक्स एक बार चेक कर लेना जो भी रैंक है बट हाँ टॉप टेन के अंदर शी इज फॉलोइंग एंड ऑब्वियसली हंड्रेड परसेंट शी विल बी गोइंग इन टू द जी एल सी मुंबई सो अनु कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फॉर योर स्कोर फॉर योर यू नो जीएलसी सिलेक्शन मोस्टली आई मीन जीएलसी में मोस्टली आपको एडमिशन मिलेगा ही मिलेगा फॉर श्योर थैंक यू सो मच आई होप सो आई होप सो सो वेन यू सॉ योर रिजल्ट यू एक्सपेक्टेड की ये स्कोर आएगा मुझे I did expect a pretty good score, but I did not expect a very good rank because I felt the exam was pretty easy. So I thought even if I did get a good score, a lot of people would have gotten this like better scores than me. So I would be behind in the ranks. But that was quite surprising for me. The rankings. Okay, this year highest is one thirty eight. Yes. So. So I mean, you got a center in Kerala only, right? No, I wrote the exam in Bangalore. Bangalore, you okay? You travel from back Kerala to Bangalore. Yeah. Okay, so, so then you took one day stay over there, or how it was? Uh, I went with my brother, and uh, yeah, we stayed over there, and we have uh, relatives in Bangalore, and it's a uh, quite it's not a very hard journey. It's just an overnight bus for us. Okay, okay, okay. So that's fine, fine. So I mean, they haven't provided any kind of a center in Kerala. I did not get allotted such a center, but when we were selecting, I think there was an option for uh, okay. Cochin or Trivandrum. Okay. 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 Great. So, quickly brief me about yourself, your academic background, ten, twelfth, and graduation, which okay. stream, and how this law idea came to the picture. Okay. So, I've always wanted to be a lawyer for quite some time, maybe from eighth grade, but it's always on and off because I wasn't quite confident that I could do it, uh, that I could be a lawyer. So. Uh, after twelfth, I did try. Uh, I did my twelfth in Kerala only, uh, and I did try for CLAT, and I got a rank around one thousand five hundred, and I I don't think that could have gotten me into a good NLU. So then I decided to do graduation. I also think I wasn't ready enough to go to law school at the time. So okay. I'm pretty happy with that decision. So uh, then I decided to do my graduate and then do a three year LLB course. So I did my undergraduate from Saint Xavier's Mumbai. and then i decided to come to glc okay great so anyone who inspired you to pursue law or it was your idea only um i read a lot of books so so i see a lot of um, characters that are lawyers but those aren't very inspiring characters as such but still i like the idea of um, knowing the law because um, it 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 can feel very empowering to just know what your rights are even if uh, you are not a very powerful lawyer or even if uh, it's just uh, an like in the legal academic field or whatever it is just knowing the law can be so very empowering and the ability to help people with that knowledge is something that really attracted me very good very good okay so what's your future plan out down the line five year if once you're done with your law career what is I your do, i mean career plan basically i do hope to do an llm okay uh, but i don't know exactly what i what field of law i want to go to i do want to be of some use and i want to give back because i've been given so much so i really do want to give back to society in some way um, so i want to go to law school and figure out what best way i can do that so i really i'm looking forward to discovering new parts of myself in law school okay, and great. figure out what i exactly want to do so i mean it is very uh, same area i think you know church gate saint xavier then church gate glc yeah it's very uh, near to my old college so i know it's not uh, mumbai the colleges are quite small there isn't much of a campus life and all but uh, it's a, it's a city that really grows on you yes yes okay. so let's uh talk about the preparation part so there are four section uh there were four section like logic english gk and legal so how you have channelized your preparation with regards to each section okay most of my uh preparation was focused on current affairs in gk because it is the most challenging section uh english i did not focus on it at all so i watched her videos i prepared notes on it um, i wrote down important um, legal uh, current affairs and such uh, and went through that again 
Um, then I did go through different quizzes that were posted on different Telegram groups. Uh, then also GK Today, the website uh, also really helped me a lot. Um, and uh, for legal, a lot of what uh, the legal um, syllabi it comes, it did come from. It was covered in my undergraduate course. I did political science, so we did have a, a paper on the constitution and Indian polity and all of that. So uh, a lot of it I did revise through my undergraduate notes. Uh, I also have a lot of books from uh, the preparation I did for CLAT in 12th grade. I did keep those books. So I went through them again for logical reasoning and legal uh, affairs. Um, so I went through them again and did the questions. And so that helped me a lot. So which section was challenging section for you? It was definitely GK. Um, logical reasoning was um, surprisingly easy for our exam. GK, um, it was, it's very vast. You never know where the question is going to come from. I remember uh, for this exam, there was a question about um, beriberi and lack of what vitamin causes beriberi. You wouldn't even think to look into that field and questions like that came. So it was very interesting, such questions. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, but it wasn't as hard as I expected. It was still pretty good. Okay. So during your preparation, have you felt any time like a battery down moment, such kind of a situation came in your preparation or how it was? Uh, definitely. Because um, when you're done with your graduation uh, and you just feel like a little burnt out uh, after your final exam. So then getting back on track is a little hard. And also you see, uh, I especially me, I saw all of my friends, they were they started working um, and going into corporate jobs already. So then I, I felt a bit uh, lost I, because the exam was getting postponed and such. It did feel a, a little confusing at the time. Like, am I on the right track and such? But then um, I stuck with what I wanted to do and it turned out well. Okay, okay. And finally, you have performed well. You have scored good marks. Okay. So in the real examination, when you appeared the paper, like when the day exam was, what do you think? Yes. Any kind of a mistake which you think you have done, which one should not do, or any kind of advice on D-Day you want to give to upcoming year aspirant? I would say don't panic. Uh, that's... Some, that's something so simple that we always forget because it's never as um, serious as it is. Like Because everyone you're dealing with is human. It's, except for the computer, all of the people that, you're, that lead you to the exam hall, the person checking your hall ticket, all of the, they're all humans. So you don't have to be so worried. You, if, if you do mess up something, you can talk it out with them. Um, suppose you didn't bring something, maybe you can tell them to wait for a second or so. Thankfully, I did not forget anything, but still right before I kept rechecking and checking and checking again, did I have everything needed? So it's don't panic. It is natural to panic, but still it will be fine. And even during the exam, um, one or two times the computer did log out of the exam for me. Uh, I think it happened for a lot of students. Uh, and so don't panic in that moment because all of your progress will get saved anyway so it's not like you have to write the entire exam again so a lot of students when they started to log in and write the exam they couldn't do it at first so they get two hours to write the exam so the exam did not end at the same time for them so since we started earlier ours ended a little bit earlier and they had to keep going on a little more so you do get two hours whatever it is even if you do even if the computer glitches or even if your password doesn't work for a second, it'll be fine. So just don't worry. Okay. Okay. Great. And one more thing, last tips for the profession, what you want to give to upcoming year aspirant? I would say read the newspaper every single day because that helps a lot. It helps you uh, not only get the current affairs, it helps you make, a se make sense of the current affairs that's happening. Because if you just go through these videos and just write down pointers, you wouldn't even know what they're exactly talking about. So if you read the newspaper every day for a year, you know what, what's happening around the world and you can connect it to those events. That helps a lot. Um, writing down helps me the most. So um, 
write down whatever you whatever information you get and classify them so there are some very common topics such as um see awards and the uh, awardees um what else um different events and where they take place different um different days and their uh, the dates that they happen on and the themes for that those days all of that you can make different different um, excel sheets or whatever whatever works for you and write them down the moment you get your hands on them so so you don't forget because it's natural that we forget and then go through them again and again till you're content basically keep on revising yeah yes okay so i one more question i forgot to ask okay so being an outside maharashtra student oms student what are the challenges you think one face so there is a pressure if you want to get into gls or i uh, glc or ils um there is a pressure to score really well if you are an outside maharashtra student because the, there is um like a very specific quota of seats that are available for you right so you have to score a, in a really good manner that, that that pressure is there but i don't think it is impossible i i absolutely think you can anyone can do it if they try i hope everyone has a good support system that helps them uh, focus on what they're studying because nothing is achieved all alone you do need uh, help even if it's from your parents or your friends so you surround yourself with people that help you grow uh, so i would say that is important and always be willing to ask for help and if you feel lost at a moment you can call up your friend and ask them um uh, someone to prepare with that would be great or e- just someone to rely on is good just talk to someone talk it out it will all be fine don't be stressed that's all don't be stressed get be relaxed prepare very well so that you can crack exam with a good score that's all so once again uh, i think uh, everything is done so anu thank you for coming and sharing your experience with regards to the preparation and uh, once again congratulations also for 131 score so we'll see you are going from saint xavier to now glc mumbai <laughs> <laughs> okay and the uh, hope this podcast will help all the viewers those who will be watching and uh, learning many things from all these podcasts and viewer also you can write in the comment what kind of a question you want me to ask or what kind of a uh, problem you people fa- you are people are facing during your preparation so i will add those question as well all right Thank so, you so yeah, much. You're welcome. Yeah. Bye-bye.